Welcome to the Blue Cafe. We offer stories of infidelity, betrayal, and redemption. Please like and subscribe if you are enjoying what you are hearing. Now, on to today's story. Mill called my superiors in the military. Give it to me straight. To start off I'm separated from my soon-to-be ex-wife, she's from another country and never got her visa to move here, we're divorcing due to her cheating and me never being able to trust her. I'll put the story short, I was going through a lot of fighting with my wife, we both were mentally drained from COVID and fighting constantly. I had a suicide attempt, after a week in the ward and my wife avoiding my phone calls my wife left me. Finally I was able to get the cell phone I bought for my wife and in it I found out she was messaging guys telling them we were separated and adding them on Snapchat. I had a whole fit about it of course emailing my wife, I'm blocked everywhere else, I know I'm not the most mature in the situation, I know I'm not an innocent guy for cussing out my wife, but now my mother-in-law has decided to step in and call my command and tell them I'm abusing her daughter, they gave me a warning and told me not to message her, telling me it's gonna have my career on the line and advised me to take steps to distance myself as she's pulling these cards. Later that night Mill decided to get onto my Facebook and start announcing to all my friends that I'm a liar and her daughter never stole money from me. I locked up the post and she started going at me calling me a cowardly piece of shit, told me she was checking up on me to see if I was punished by the military. My whole response was pretty much to stop talking to me as they requested it. She's made it very clear she had no intention of me to stop messaging her, but to get me in trouble and would love to see it happen. Edit, forgot to mention Mill's best friend goes by auntie, was trying to bait me into saying I was gonna involve violence when I travel to get the rest of my stuff, told me she wasn't scared then proceeded to tell me she was scared when I told her it wasn't an issue then. DJ anniversary, and we're now no contact completely. She has a new girlfriend. Post separation. Honestly I'm no contact but she's been known to look at my reddit from time to time. It's been one year since D-Day, which is two years from what went down before our marriage. Been a hell of a year and I'm really hoping 2021 brings me some peace I need, I haven't had a real conversation with her since the beginning of October. A couple days before I went to a mental health ward for a week. I miss her at times, I miss the good times, I miss my best friend I used to share every little interest with, my partner who I shared dreams with and wanted to build a future with was always just a show, after I found out about the cheating when we were married it went downhill, I went from a man who always told myself I was going to be the best for her, I would never cuss when emotions rose, directed at her or not, I hate I let her change me like that. She avoided my calls in the mental hospital, and the night I got released she left me and dropped the news on me she was bisexual. It's been the hardest thing I've ever dealt with. On top of that the girlfriend who was by her said to trash talk me the week she decided is now her girlfriend. Whole thing sucks and I can't even discuss divorce, say Merry Christmas, or even talk finances without her new girlfriend, mom, stepmom or self-proclaimed aunt stepping in. Divorce lawyer said it could be a two-month turnaround and I asked for half the fees which resulted in her new girlfriend claiming she'd pay all of it. Honestly it's not worth fighting anymore. I'll wait for those divorce papers to show up at my door so I can sign them and forget about her. This is it, from promising a life to her to a ward and replacement. Cheating is just the first sign of how heartless she really was. I just have to remind myself the woman I loved was never real it. Her and her girlfriend became Facebook official only two months after deleting our wedding photos. Post separation. It's so weird to me how many of her friends and family poured in for her support after she cheated, I didn't even know this girl was her AP until after she broke it off. I dunno if everyone just hates me that bad or is supporting her cause she came out of the closet. People want to be seen as inclusive that they won't consider what she did as cheating. But more as coming out. She still cheated. 
I don't know if there is any solace in it but even if the cheating is super clear, they will still rally behind the cheater if he or she is family. My ex cheated and is now an item with her. I went to all my in-laws to tell my story and they were all on my side. But they can't hold that position. I'm not family. Your s her story is that you trapped her in an heteronormative world and the AP set her free. Mine is that he was trapped in a crappy marriage with a crappy wife and his AP set him free. The truth is, if our partners felt trapped the thing they should have done was talk to us. Honestly I don't want to be in a marriage with someone who doesn't appreciate me and you don't want a marriage with a woman not attracted to you. It was selfish and plain old evil from them to lie and cheat to us. We did not deserve that. But for people who have a closer connection to our ex than to us, it will never matter. They don't hate you, chances are they love you very much and wish things were different. But it isn't. So know that behind closed doors people know what she did and they judge. I know my ex is judged by people who know us. Who know me and know he did me dirty and I do not deserve that, embarrassed smiley face, hi, assuming you are male. This is a very different type of cheating. Our society is so politically correct that we have to support gay people in their journey and reward them for being so brave. In this situation everyone ignores the cheating aspect and adultery, a complete contradiction to what would happen if she ran off with a guy. The trouble is that this heaps guilt on you, well actually all her supporters do it to you, because apparently you must be homophobic. I am male and my wife of 10 years did this so I know how hypocritical people are in this situation. Just stay with cheating is cheating and go full North Carolina with those who support her because they are magnifying the damage to you. Ask them how they would feel if their partner or spouse had an affair. Honestly, the only solution is to call it for what it is, adultery, in front of everyone and go permanent North Carolina with all those who ignore how much pain the adultery causes. I would also point out that you are the victim and if they do this to you they are making your pain worse, multiplying it many times over. Go North Carolina with those that multiply your pain. Also, think of it like this, if you are male, it is the ultimate get out of jail free card because it proves you are not deficient. If she had chosen another man then that might have made you feel ugly, a lot less masculine, bullied and generally unworthy. Yeah that's totally it, and yeah the get out of jail free thing, embarrassed smiley face, thought about that too, like I know I was a good husband up until we fought about her infidelity. I guess she knew it was easier to find an orange than a better apple. Like I know I was a good husband you were a good man, this is not your fault. Seriously though? Go permanent North Carolina with those that support her because she is so brave. Those types people don't even bother to think of consequences and why would you hang out with people who do not care about consequences, from their actions, to others. You also say, I guess she knew it was easier to find an orange than a better apple. Don't try to think about that. She cheated for whatever reason, stayed with you as you were a safe place until she was strong enough to switch sides. So she used you. Right now think about all the things you have compromised on during your relationship, things you missed out on so that you were a happy couple. Well now is the time to do all those things and bring yourself some happiness. I went whitewater rafting, paragliding, traveled to Bali and the UK. I purchased all the foods I liked but she did not like because a compromise was to not have these foods in the house. I ate them in large quantities. Go and rediscover yourself go have fun, and. If you are late 30s or in your 40s you are a lucky man because, it is completely true, 20 year old women love an older man and you can have some amazing fun with 20 to 24 year old women. OMG. You have no idea how much they like mature men. Have fun, with all the things you lost due to compromising, do fun things. Have a laugh doing those things. Man I really appreciate this shit, folded hands, sometimes it really helps to get good advice from a stranger who's not biased. 
you're totally right, I'm giving her more credit than she deserves. Also I'm about to turn 25 and retire from the Navy. Life looking good on the other side of all this, can start college and be ahead in life. We hope you have enjoyed today's episode. Please like and subscribe. Cheers. Have an awesome day or night. Wherever you are.